Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you two new features of Chroma 2.2. These are the select elements component as well as the element query component. In this setup, I've created five different elements, two beams, a truss, a shell, and a membrane element. Each of these elements have been assigned material, cross section, a color, as well as a unique element ID. All of these elements have been assembled together into one global model. And I'm going to use now the select elements to select specific elements part of our model. The first one will be the element IDs. So here I have element IDs listed uh, from what we defined earlier. If I scroll through our list, you can see the elements changing there. And so we are able to call out the element that is selected from our model. And you'll see this here in this window there. Once you connect the outputted element into an element query component, you can actually extract the mesh as well as the mass, the surface area and the volume of each of these elements. And these are lists for each individual element themselves. So if I scroll through the list of the elements, Using the element IDs, you can see, for example, now I'm selected truss underscore two, shell underscore C, or the membrane element. And I can extract all of our properties of these elements themselves. The next is selecting via color. So here I've taken all of the colors that we defined earlier for our elements. And once again, you can scroll through the list to select any elements according to the color. And here we've defined the first two beams as the same color. That's why it selected them of the same. Next is the cross section. So here we can select according to the cross section first cross section A, cross section B, cross section C, and cross section D. The next one is the materials. So here we are selecting going to material A, B, and C. In this case, I've defined same material for our membrane and our shell, as you will see here. The next one is our length interval. So basically where you would put to select elements within a certain size interval. So if I use the scroller to define our interval, you see that now I have a ratio from 0 to 6, 0 0.67 centimeters, uh, meters, sorry. And you can now select those elements which are between a certain length interval. And the last is our element types. And this is activated using a values you list. You can right click on this select elements component now to expand any values lists. So here you simply need to activate any of these elements from our list. For example, a truss, a beam, a membrane, or a shell. And you can also select multiple items. You can even have multiple inputs for select elements. So I can have my value list here. 
for trust and beam activated and I can also have my element IDs activated. So it's now only going to search for match both criterias. And so here, once I have trust two or beam A, it's selected these elements which match all criterias which are activated. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. You can download and use these new features of Chroma 2.2 already from our website. Thank you.